majority of the Ugandans, then you will be a happy man. And the secret is that when you pursue righteousness, our God who calls us, our God who has put us in positions of leadership is holy, and therefore we must seek righteousness. And that is why he says, Jesus himself, in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, that seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness, and other things shall be added unto you. God first. In your politics, in your leadership, in your family, men of your family, men and women, whatever you do, personal businesses, you know, even when you're in parliament, you have your, your things where you fall to when you are not in parliament. So, uh, flee those other things that stop you from enjoying God's fellowship, and uh, that is righteousness. Be holy, because our God is holy. Godliness, uh, put godliness in every aspect of your life. Some people become godly when they are in church. And when they go out of church, they are not different from those other people out there. Maybe you are partners in business, that's not, not a problem. But uh, be exemplary. Be exemplary wherever, wherever you are. Godliness should be seen in you. Faith, faith, faith is very paramount. Today, there is what we call nominalism. People want to be Christians by, by convenience. Yes, I'm a member of the church. My diocese is so and so. But when you are uh, confronted with the real issues, dealing with your spiritual life, you are so weak that you don't know what to do. That is why even members of the church rush to medicine men, go to consult for security, for uh, promotion, for uh, blessings, but our God is our rock and our salvation. We need always to trust the God of heaven. So uh, faith moves mountains. Love, love one another. I know in politics sometimes you have some enemies, but there should be no permanent enemies in politics. But when you love, even that one who doesn't love you, I've always been challenged, they have had uh, many times, people challenge me, not because I'm a notorious man, but they, want, they have their own reasons, and I love all of them, and I pray for them, and that is when I remain a released man, because I don't want to harbor any gripe. And that is an encouragement to you all, that when you love someone, no matter what happens, you look at that person with the eyes of love, like the Lord Jesus would do. Steadfastness, gentleness, these are virtues that we need to have leadership as men and women of God. Then Paul, this famous statement he made, he was confident that he had done everything. Remember his conversion on his way to, Dam uh, to Damascus. He says, yes, with your Christian background, fight the good fight. Somewhere Paul said, I have fought a good fight. When he was about to die, he was very confident. And I want always each one of us to, to remember that even in the position where I am, one day I will not be there. And uh, we need to continue fighting good fight. That in your time, you do your best, you contribute to the growth and development of our country through legislation as a member of the 10th parliament of Uganda. Then, when you have fought a good fight, in the end, by God's grace, you'll find the reward. That is why he finished with that chapter, uh, the last verse, uh, telling uh, Timothy to guard what has been entrusted to him. He said, verse 20, O oh, Timothy, guard the deposit entrusted to you. Avoid the irrelevant bubble and contradictions of what is falsely called knowledge. Yes, what is falsely called knowledge. You know, he was, he was a father in faith uh, to Timothy, and he was saying, Timothy, God, what has been entrusted to you? In this case, you can put your name, if, if you want your title, Honorable so and so. God, what uh, good deposit has been entrusted to you? God, the responsibility, the mandate you have been given by the people who sent you to parliament and by the government and parliament of Uganda. Guard that jealously, avoid the irrelevant bubble and contradictions of what is called knowledge or modernization or change, change that will cause conflict to other people. And by, he says, for by professing it, some have strayed from the faith. Yes, he was saying, do not lose focus Remain focused, guard what has been entrusted to you. And I want you to look at the things that cause you to stumble as an individual, that cause other people to say, is this the member of parliament we sent to represent us? It's not doing ABCD, she's not doing ABCD. And listen to your people, because as I have said in the, from the beginning, 
God speaks through people, through events, through situations. That is why among the Bachikia Banyankoli and others, whenever a mother was going to the garden or traveling and delivered from the way, that child would be called Nyamihanda or Kamhanda, that's born on the way. So circumstances dictate that we need to study the times, to study the times and see where the Lord is leading us. And uh, I want to finish with the book of Micah, chapter 6 and verse 8. As we begin this season of Lent, let us begin with the knowledge that we are servants of the Lord and that we need to know what God's will is for us. Uh, Micah chapter 6 and verse verse 8. He has told you, O man and woman, what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. Yes, this is indeed what the Lord desires from you, honorable members of parliament, of the 10th parliament, leaders in this country. He wants you to do what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To do justice and to love kindness. as we are, who have brought this humble offering before you, we ask that God, it will represent the offering of our lives to you. And we ask that God, this day, as we humble ourselves to you, we pray that Lord, we, who are your unworthy thoughts, will be acceptable to you. So bless these offerings and accept them to represent the offering of our lives to you, to serve you in honesty and sincerity, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. On this Ash Wednesday, that they will be able to hate sin and fast and continue to be closer to you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Page six was singing just as I am. It's a low service, so uh, that's why you see everything is count. Just as I am with
to manage the environment. In April, every member of parliament is going to be given seats to go and plant their constituencies. As part of the campaign, we are forced to our country. It's a matter of great regret that nothing much is being done. On Monday, I drove from uh, Lamo to Kampala, and it was so painful to see the number of lorries full of charcoal, the bare ground everywhere. And what I saw were the old trees. It was the trees which were there, very old trees, it was clear. So there were no new plantations. So I think I uh, would want to ask all of us to do the needful. There is something I've been talking about when I, sometimes when I'm in Musoga, I've been telling people that uh, let us use all occasions to plant trees, weddings, introductions, graduations, death. I think that if we do that, maybe we shall be able uh, to reaffirm this country. Otherwise, we have uh, only 8%, eight percent, eight percent of forest cover. The eighty-eight is gone. It's gone. Finished. So we are really endangered. I want to call upon members uh, to rest the occasion and do the needful. So thank you, Your Grace, for coming. Thank you, our members. I think we'll be happy to move to the next phase of the program. Thank you so much. Uh, let me also, uh, Madam Speaker, announce that day after tomorrow we shall be in Muchini. And I can't forget to say thank you, uh, Right Honourable Speaker, for leading the Parliament to legislate the request of, of the declaration by His Excellency and to accept 16th February to be a public holiday. Uh, the clergy will join me to thank you very, very much, Right Honourable Speaker, and we thank His Excellency. So I want to invite you, because all roads will be leading to Muchwini in Kitgum, invite, I invite you to join us as we commemorate the 41st anniversary of Janan Luung, the matter of the 20th century. And as you know, the 23rd uh, a provincial assembly resolved to name Church House Janan Luung Church House, which is about to get finished. Thank you and God bless.